Nestled in the heart of Europe, Switzerland is a country renowned for its stunning natural beauty, rich cultural heritage and high quality of life. Switzerland is envied by many. However, what is the real mystery behind the stunning Swiss Alps and their love made with chocolate? How did Swiss people blend tradition with modernity and achieve this high standard of living? Join me for a day in the life of a Swiss person and discover the secret behind Switzerland's success. Good morning, world. A cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. I don't know if it's really a Swiss person thing to have a morning routine, but in general, I think it is a must for any person out in this world. After doing some uni work, planning YouTube videos or acquiring new skills, I'll leave the house at seven o'clock after having some delicious breakfast. So, currently at my lunch break here, in Switzerland, people start to work between 7 to 8 a.m. until about 5 to 6 p.m., including the lunch break. So that is equivalent to nearly 42 to 45 hours per week. And if we compare that to the worldwide average, that is about 35 hours. So you see a significant difference there already. Personally, what I do during my lunch breaks, I take some time, about 15 minutes, to get some fresh air. Some interesting facts foreign people don't really know about Swiss people. First of all, education in Switzerland is mostly financed by the government. However, 90% of young people in Switzerland still decide to do an apprenticeship after completing compulsory upper secondary education. That means most of the 15 and 16 year old teenagers start to work at that age. Yet, there are possibilities afterwards to go to university in several ways and get a diploma in higher education. Interestingly, about three quarters of students still have some type of part-time jobs next to their studies. Just having a short dinner break. So personally, I study the most extreme version here. My university and work schedule looks like the following. I study after a whole day of work on Wednesday and Thursday evenings and on Saturday mornings as well. And that all excludes the factor of the self-study, which you need to do autonomously. By now, you should have an answer how an actual life of a Swiss person looks like. This high standard of living doesn't just come out of nowhere. It lies behind the strong work ethic and productivity culture, which values punctuality, reliability and quality. I am proud to be born in such a country, but I think with this video I've put into perspective what lies behind such a society and country. This cannot be taken for granted. For sure, not everything is perfect in this country. There are personally a few things I don't agree with, but I would say for a comfortable and pleasant life, Switzerland is probably one of the best countries out there to live in. If you're interested in seeing Switzerland's beauty landscape, I would recommend you this video. Here. 